welcome to part two of the USS Voyager build. So I'd work on the upper saucer section. Uh, so far we've got the um, light blocking done and then we've also got a couple of coats of uh, matte white on there as well. I've also started the uh, the effort of uh, drilling all the windows out. I've got one side of the uh, saucer section done. So far all I've done uh, with those is just basically drilled um, two holes in each window really. And what I'll do um, in, a, in a while is actually just then uh, file those away and then get some sandpaper in there just to um, smooth, smooth off the edges. And then I just need to do the same on this side as well. Um, we've also got the uh, the same done to the uh, bottom section of the source. We've got the two coats of uh, matte black in there for the light blocking and then two coats of uh, white over the top of that. And then we've also on there got a few uh, windows where we need to uh, drill out. Once that's all finished, um, I'll then be able to go on to the, uh, the detail section. I just need to get the... Uh, the the little styrene strips put on around there and also down the side of the hull and also the um, down there as well I think one of the first things I'm going to need to do on this before I do get the strips down on this side and also on the other side is get the windows in place on there and also uh, on that side there as well first um, but the uh, the templates for those are actually in with the photo weight, so that sh hopefully uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem. I've not decided yet whether I'm going to use resin for these windows or whether um, I'm going to use the um, acrylic powder that I've used before on the uh, the Cardassian Glow Class Cruiser. Um, I'm just not sure yet which one I'm going to go with that, but um, I pretty much will make up my mind before. I get to the end of this I guess. Um, so that's about it for the moment. This is going to take quite some time to do to get these windows uh, all out properly. But as soon as I've made some more work on this I will come back to you. Okay so we've now got the uh, the first stage done to this. So we've got all of the, uh, the windows uh, drilled on both sides of the hull. Oh. So they're starting to uh, shape up now. And we've also got the windows on uh, the lower section done as well. So they're starting to look really good. All I need to do now is go on to stage two. And that's just uh, cut all of the excess out of those. And then <coughs> file them into shape. And that's the bit that's going to take the longest uh, on this, to be quite honest. All of these windows, I think, if I'm right, there's about 270 something called windows, maybe 280. Uh, so they're going to take a little while to do because it needs to be done fairly slowly. Uh, so you can keep the shape of the windows. So once I've got those cut out, as I say, I just need to go in uh, with some uh, sandpaper just to make sure that the edges are nice and smooth, uh, nice and straight. So as soon as I've got some uh, more work done to that, I will uh, come back to you. Okay, so I just uh, thought I'd give you a quick look at the uh, the windows that I've been doing on the underside. Um, to sort of give you a bit of a preview. As you know, the windows were uh, pretty much well looking like that with just the holes drilled out. I then went along and sanded the, uh, or sorry, drilled out the windows a bit more fold those down to get the holes out and then I used a knife uh, this one with a very very sharp blade on it uh, to cut the windows out completely um, and I got those about 99% correct and then I just went along with a stick um, that's had some sandpaper glue to it and then just basically sort of sanded it down and smoothed it down so it was as uh, so those windows were as uh, good as 
they could get and I think they are pretty straight so I'm quite happy with that so I just now need to uh, do the rest of the windows on this side uh, and once I've got those done I can then start on the uh, the source the upper saucer section uh, where all the fun's going to be had because there's a lot of windows on that one that needs to be done so this one is going to take the time this one is relatively uh, done relatively quickly really because there's only 10 windows on here um, the other thing that I have done as well is these uh, window openings as well I've sanded those down uh, using the medium uh, sanding stick um, and again using these as well just to get rid of all the rough edges around those and uh, the flash uh, just to get rid of the flash off of them as well so they're as straight as they possibly can be as well now so I'm just going to get on get those windows sorted out and as soon as I've got that bit done um, I will come back to you and uh, show you the final results okay so we've uh, now finished the bottom section or the windows uh, hopefully if I uh, bring the, the light source out a little bit for you you should hopefully be able to see the windows there looking fairly good I know there's going to be a bit of a a glare coming through from the windows due to the uh, due to nothing being in them but hopefully you should be able to see uh, that they look fairly square let me just bring them up a little bit closer for you so by the time that those are um, by the time that these have had uh, the acrylic in them and then masked off and painted they should hopefully be completely square uh, though they're not that far off the ballpark there so that's it on the bottom section of the ship I'm going to move on to the top part now that's going to take the most amount of time so as soon as I've got uh, the, uh, the work sorted out on that one for the windows I will come back to you okay so uh, we've now managed to uh, finish stage two on the uh, upper saucer section uh, I filed out all of the windows uh, that are on there so all I need to do now is just uh, go back in on those windows and start shaping them uh, with my trusty uh, Xacto blade uh, I think that's a number 11 blade we just need to keep the uh, that fine, uh, sorry, fine, fine point uh, on the end of that blade as well. So I will most probably be going through a few of these because they, the tips of these do tend to actually break. Um, and notice I do keep it in there so I don't cause myself any damage whilst I'm building this one. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to carry on and get those windows uh, done as best as I possibly can. Uh, and then as soon as I've done uh, stage three I will come back to you okay so we've got some more work done to the uh, upper section of the uh, the hull as you can see there we've got all of the windows uh, cut out now down one side so it's actually starting to look quite cool now uh, just need to uh, finish off that side now hopefully that should uh, only take a couple of days to do so it's starting to take shape now um, what I'm going to do actually is I'm just going to uh, shine a torch in this so you can actually see the effect on the windows so that's what they're going to start looking like there as you can see they're not looking too bad if I just turn out some lights hopefully uh, it'll give you a better view so there you go that's uh, that's what the lights or the windows are starting to look like now on that side and that's just with uh, a, a little torch put in place uh, I mean obviously as you can see some of the windows are being picked up a little bit more than others but you'll get the general idea from that as to how the windows are going to start to look I can just uh, take you off the stand and get you in a little bit closer 
just uh, zoom out a bit there. Now you can see how good the light uh, reflection is because these windows here are actually behind the torch. Uh, the torch is just there, that's the lens and that's where the, uh, the last windows are. So that shows you how good the light reflection is around the model itself. As I say, you are getting a little bit of glare because there is nothing in those windows to help uh, calm the light down. But you are sort of at least able to see what it's starting to look like. So I'm quite happy with the uh, the results on this so far. Um, it's been a little bit painful getting to this point, if I'm to be honest. Um, but at least we've got there. So that's about it for the moment. I'm going to leave that there um, and I'm going to carry on working on the other side now. So as soon as I've got some uh, more work done to that, I will come back to you. Okay, so we've now got uh, all of the windows done on this side of the model. So uh, you could say that we've got some success in doing the windows. Um, <laughs> Thank God. It's only taken about, I think, four days to uh, get to this stage just to do the upper saucer section and the, uh, the lower saucer section. I've also um, drilled out the, I'm not sure whether you're going to see them there, uh, but I've also drilled out the, uh, the windows at the top of the bridge because uh, they are meant to be lit as well. So all I need to do now really is concentrate on getting the windows in uh, down this side here and around that bit there and then uh, the same on this side here as well and then once I've done that I'll be going on to the modifications on this bit here I just need to uh, drop the sensor band down a bit there and then put a strip of uh, styrene in its place and then with this as well um, you'll be able to see the uh, the pencil marks there uh, just as a reminder um, I need to basically chop all of that bit out and then push it back this way so I need to build the uh, the walls out of uh, styrene on that as well just to f f repair the uh, repair the uh, the little bay there there are a couple of little bits of photo etch that go in there as well uh, and then once I've done that I've just got the little bits of uh, plastic to put in around these areas and then we've also got some more bits of plastic that need to go uh, sort of down there and then sort of down there as well on both sides and then there's another two little bits of plastic uh, that need to go in there one other thing that I've noticed as well on the uh, looking at the studio model this whole section here is uh, basically recessed whereas on this particular one you can actually see that there's no complete recess so what I'm going to need to do again is get uh, a piece of styrene and put it in place across there to make that recess as well if it's possible I'd need to check with a photo edge uh, on that really to be quite honest to make sure that we can do that um, <clears throat> and if it's possible I need to repeat it on that side as well and um, also on that side too and I've also got the uh, windows on either side there as well for the photo etch. Uh, I'm going to need to sand all of that down to the level. And as you can see uh, on the side of the ship there, that's actually stepped. So I'm going to need to get rid of that step as well and then drill that out for the photo etch. And all of these raised details on the surface here, um, they're going to need to be uh, sanded down and removed. Um, for the photo etch parts and um, what that means as well is because that's going to thin that plastic right down you're going to be able to see through that um, I'm going to just strengthen that really with some putty in there just to help strengthen that up again and it will also uh, act as a light block so now I've got those windows done uh, those other little modifications are the bits that I shall be working on uh, so as soon as I've made some uh, progress on those bits, I will come back to you. Okay, um, I've started work on the uh, the windows on the sides of the ship. Uh, basically what I've done is I've used the 
um, brass uh, templates that you get with the uh, photo etch kit and all I've done is uh, basically placed them up against the side of the ship and tacked them down with uh, some masking tape and then with uh, a pencil all I've done is I've just gone in uh, the windows and made the uh, made the windows there with a pencil uh, as you can see on the uh, on all of the windows on that side so they come out looking okay uh, and then on that side as you can see already there I've already cut uh, five of the windows out on the bottom side and then I've just got the four windows uh, up there to do on that side um, once I've got those done I'll then be able to uh, move over to that side and do those uh, basically to help me along with this um, I'm using a 0.5mm uh, drill bit as you can see there uh, they're quite thin but that's uh, good enough to uh, get in there and um, open them up a bit so I can then go in with the uh, the trusty uh, number 11 blade and uh, shape the windows to get them looking like that so as soon as I've finished uh, the other ones I will come back to you okay so we've got the uh, got the windows done now on the uh, the A and B deck I do believe they are so they're starting to look pretty good now so next job for me to do really now is to get rid of all of the uh, the detail there um, I also need to uh, drill out the holes for the windows there but then um, basically sand down all the details on there uh, on the back I'm just going to get this bit done and then get that bit done as well and then that will be uh, most of the modifications completed on this I just need to get the photo wedge part in at the back there all of these little raised details here as well uh, where you've got the um, transporter admitters um, I'm going to sand those off as well so when I do put the photo wedge parts on they will go down flat so I think I'm going to call it quits for this video guys because I think this one is getting a little bit long um, so I'm going to um, sort of leave this one here and I will catch up with you uh, in part 3 where hopefully uh, we we'll see uh, all of the modifications uh, to the top end going on so until then thanks for watching and please do take care